So as you guys may know, there is a special place in my heart for people who represent themselves. The fascination started off with Daryl Brooks and it led on into other cases and we've had a great time with it. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we have someone else, Trevor Summers. <laughs> I, I find his last name kind of funny. But anyway, Trevor Summers is the next runner up who represented himself. And man, oh man, it was a shit show. I saw a little bit of this on stream. I don't have a lot of knowledge on this case, and we're just going to go into this thing together because holy shit, the guy kidnaps his ex-wife or his wife, attempts to S.A. her. He tries to do that word to her. And on top of that, he has two counts of sexual battery, four counts of child neglect, grand theft auto, and violating a restraining order. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy was going hard. He went that hard in the paint and decided to go and represent himself. Man, all I could say is, I mean, that's some balls. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump straight into some of the key moments of the trial. And this right here is where someone says, just a random man says he saw Summers chasing his wife down and he called the police. So let's go ahead and check this thing out, man. You guys write down in the comments if you've seen this trial before. I think we're going to go ahead and go into this because, man, this guy is an asshole. It's quite interesting. Uh, is there something to the effect of help, 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 call the police? Um, what did you observe? <clears throat> what did you observe next? Uh, a man was chasing after her. Um, do you recall anything about this man? What he was wearing, what he looked like? Yes. And what do you recall? Uh, I gave a description of the events to the police at the time. I don't recall what he was wearing at the, okay. at the moment. Um, and did um, that individual um, run towards this female? Yes. Did you see where he came from? No. And um, did this male that you, that you saw, um, what did he do when he was running towards the female? Uh, he caught up to her and uh, grabbed her, kind of wrestled her back to the ground. I'm sorry, to where? To the ground. Okay. This is going to be another one of those stories where it's like, oh, they didn't know, they didn't help her, and she was being abused. Thank God she got away. And the craziest thing about this story to me is that he got life in prison for attempted murder, you know, the SA, the four counts, the child neglect, all that stuff. He got life in prison, right? But we did another case. It was on a live stream. Tap into my live stream. It's at 845 PST AM. Um, but we covered another case in my live stream where this guy repeatedly poked up his wife until she was no longer here with us. Like he was going crazy on her. He did that to her and got 45 years, and, it, and he was a 25-year-old man, which means, you know, do your math, he can get out of jail and still have, he can still live life, however much he has left of it. I just found it kind of odd that someone like that got 45 years, and this guy, who didn't even delete his wife, he didn't get, you know, 45 years. He got life. He just got straight life. I found that odd. You guys drop in the comments what you think about that. What's the reasons for it? But I was like, damn. If anything, this guy needs to have the 45 and the other guy needs life. But I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand it. But you guys voice your opinions on that one. Did they fall down on the ground? Uh, I don't recall. And what happened next? Uh, he then took the woman... Uh, and brought her back to a vehicle. And uh, do you recall what kind of vehicle it was or anything about the vehicle? It was a dark Saturn. Was it a sedan style car or an SUV? Like an SUV. And um, when the male was walking the female to the vehicle, were they walking away from you or towards you? Towards me. And how well lit is your Walgreens? It's pretty well lit. <clears throat> um, how far away were you from um, this interaction that you observed? 
Not a good judge of distance, but it was close enough that I could make out the license plate on the car and the features of the people at the time. When did you make the observations of the license plate? Uh, while I was on the phone with dispatch. <clears throat> I got it. Hold on. When um, you saw the mail... I had to back it up. Look at, look at him trying to be all studious and shit. Like, he just graduated law school from Harvard and shit. He's over there looking at him, making faces like, hmm... I'm going to spin it this way on him. He won't, he won't expect this one. He won't expect what I got cooking for him. Bro, every person who goes pro se, with the except of the treehouse murderer or the treehouse alleged murderer, everyone with the exception of him kind of seems like a dumbass. Like they don't know what they're doing and I don't know what possesses them to go ahead and say, yeah, I'm going to go represent myself when my actual life is on the line. Like, you never chose to represent yourself for the speeding ticket or for civil matters. You're going to do this for a murder trial. You're going to go represent yourself. That's crazy. That makes me think that you mentally aren't even all the way there. If you're willing to go ahead and take that challenge. People at the time. When did you make the observations of the license plate? Uh, while I was on the phone with dispatch. <clears throat> When um, you saw the male take the female back to the vehicle, um, what side of the vehicle did the female get in? The passenger side. And did she do that on her own? I was on the driver's side of the vehicle. I couldn't see. And uh, the male, what side of the vehicle did he get in? Uh, he walked around the back side of the vehicle and got in the driver's side. Was that after the female was placed into the vehicle? Yes. This is some deep hatred, bro. These people hate each other. And you see it a lot of times in couples and marriages. They just hate each other. It's a, it's a simple case of hating one another and being codependent upon one another. It's a disgusting combination. Self-destructive. <laughs> and this is some of the results of that. Did the vehicle, what happened to the vehicle then? Uh, once they were both back in the vehicle, the vehicle left the parking lot. And you stated that you were able to see the vehicle tag? Yes. Did you do, um, did you contact law enforcement then? I contacted law enforcement uh, shortly after seeing uh, the woman running from the vehicle. And uh, how did you contact law enforcement? By phone. Did you call 911? Yes. Yes, you may. Mr. Crosby, I'm showing you what's been pre-marked as State's Exhibit C for identification purposes. Do you recognize this disc? Yes. And how is it that you recognize it? Uh, it was shown to me previously. Uh, are these your initials here on this disc? Yes. And does it fairly and accurately depict the 911 call that you placed on March 11th of 2017 regarding the incidents that you just discussed? Yes. State offers an evidence, State's Exhibit C. Any objection? No objection. State C will be admitted. Permission to publish? You may publish. Well, those are the first words we've heard from him on this channel. No objection. Uh, at least he's not a Daryl Brooks where he just objects to everything. So, you know, we're, we're already showing improvement from... Daryl Brooks. Saturday, March 11, 2017, 2107 and 16 seconds. Hey, um, we're a watering and fish hawk. And some dude just, or some shit just ran out of the dude's car. Looked like her hands were tied and she ran out of the car, she couldn't help me. And he just uh, grabbed her and put her back in the car. What's the address? Uh, it's Walgreens and Fish Hawk. I don't know the address. What kind of vehicle are they in? Uh, it's a blue SUV. Looks like an Enclave. Can't be sure though. Is uh, it like hands are tied? It look like it. The, um, Trying to get the license plate. It looks like GLH M32. It's a dark, dark blue SUV. Uh, 
uh, guy old lecture gene. I like how he's listening to it. He puts his finger by his ear like, let me listen to that. Let me, let me hear that. What, what? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Are they still there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Are they still there? Uh, he's falling out right now. I'll watch you know what direction he goes. Trying to, trying to sit like a scholar. Fucking idiot. I swear, this is all an act. He's Well, I mean, it's not an act. He he must feel kind of like Mr. Lawyer Boy right now. But, sir, they're about to bury you. Blue Saturn, it's not a Buick. Uh, he's heading out the back. Uh, let me see if he goes under the neighborhood or if he's young. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, we're headed back into the neighborhood. Find fish hot. Can I find out what the street name is here? Is he going towards the neighborhood right there? Or is that the way? Yeah, he's just going into the neighborhood. He turned off the main street. Okay, so look like here's a blue Saturn. Oh, so he's following him. That's what's up, bro. Keep a distance and follow that motherfucker. A lot of people are just, a lot of people would say that's not my business. You know? I mean, sometimes it's not your business. But, you know, in this case, shout out your boy for tracking him, man. Did you catch that plate out at all? Yes, sir. Did he go to the left or to the right? It's, it's one way street, bro, on the corner where it tees off. Give me a second to walk into the intersection. Okay. <laughs> He turned into something somewhere. The audio is really shitty, but basically I think he's following the movements, just keeping a good distance, trying to make sure, you know, the lady doesn't get hurt. Because, again, if you see somebody getting beat up, you shouldn't say it's not my business, bro. You're actively kind of causing that person to not get help if you just do nothing about it. So I really fuck with this guy. The big sign here at the intersection for the Fishhawk Ranch. He didn't turn out to the main road. He... Went in towards the neighborhood. Okay. Your name, sir? Yeah. Well, I think is that you... necessary? I usually get probably any calls, so that because my dad's here to back in contact with you. My name is Randy. R A N D Y? Yeah. Any last name for you? Crosby. I work here at the fucking Walgreens, so. Man, it's so crazy how nowadays you can't get away with nothing, bro. Your car is going to track you. The people at Walgreens are going to track you. The cameras are going to track you. You can't do nothing illegal, bro. You got to be really good at it. You got to do white collar crimes. You got to like steal fucking funds from people really slowly. And that, other than that, it's like you can't do no burly murders out here no more. You will get caught. That is full on a crash out mission. You know at the end of that you're not going home. Like that you everyone who thinks they're getting away in 2024 is absolutely stupid. You either do that shit and go away forever or just don't do it because you you're going to get caught, bro. They cut the audio. I don't get any phone signal inside the store though, so did you, did you notice any weapons at all on him at all? I didn't, but I didn't approach him in case there was. Okay. All right, so well, I got the call in. I got that piece on the way out, and they'll be on the way out. They shoot it shortly, okay? Do you have any kind of ETA? Um, 
pretty much it just a little teaser a little a little you know a little seasoning for y'all if you guys are interested or not i'm super interested we're going to be covering this on stream as well and i'm going to be pumping out the videos on this topic um i should get through it fairly quickly but we gotta go through it y'all this man represents himself and next video we're gonna hear him speak like we're gonna actually hear his arguments and there's some hatred in those words and th there's hatred in both their words him and his i would say ex-wife at this point him and his ex-wife there's some deep hatred between the two of them you could feel it see it the kin the tension is so fucking tight you couldn't even cut it with a knife you would have to use a chainsaw or something but anyways folks i'm gonna catch you guys back later i love you guys stay inside stay safe i'm gonna see you in the next one peace